and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd have a little chatty one and a journaling one today. Um, I wanted to talk about summer journaling. It's a bit silly because the, we haven't really seen summer yet, have we? It's raining outside, it's cold. It was nine degrees when I looked at my phone this morning. That's shocking. Anyway, we can bring the summer to us. We can bring it to our crafty space and we can still pretend that it's summer. So I was going to just talk to you about my summer journaling plans today. So that's what we're going to do. And I would, of course, like to hear from you and find out what your summer journaling plans are as well. Um, I've just had a thought of a big journal, which I haven't even thought about yet. We'll talk about that in a minute. So you may have seen recently I created my weekly journal. I'm going to be creating in that in a bit. I wanted to do a page in here with you. So we are going to be talking about that. Um, I am loving the soft spine. It is working really, really well for me. So that's going to take me straight to a journal that I want to create. We're going away, which you may already know if you follow my other channels. We're heading to Orlando in a few weeks and it was when we were on our, I think it was one of our crafty Zooms, we were talking about summer journaling then and Michelle spoke about a journal that she made to take on her trip into Canada and she then just scribbles away each night, writes a few little bits, does a little bit of drawing and I just thought it sounded so, so nice. I've tried to keep journals on holidays before I will show you actually I used to keep them many years ago I have got loads of like notebooks where I kept all our trip notes I would write up every single day but since um, filming YouTube videos I can't keep up the constant filming and the writing as well I'm just watching that rain is really coming down now I can't believe we're in July um, anyway, but I would like something just to make, even if it's just a couple of conversations a night or something. Um, so I am going to attempt something and I'm thinking I might make something with a, a very soft notebook because they do spine, I mean, they do squish down. So I might make that. I've got some ideas um, of a new journal, which I might make very soon. So keep an eye out for that. But right now I'm going to be continuing in my weekly journal. I think I have done three pages in here so far. I'm really happy with this. Actually, no, two pages. Um, it's going really well. And like I said, I like this, the soft spines working really well. I am still continuing in this one here. This was my last trip journal. Look how cool that looks now for September. It's getting really really chunky which pleases me i've had i can't remember if i've spoken about this i have a big issue with this journal in that we really struggled on that trip we had with our house move we had a lot of problems with our buyers and then i felt really poorly so looking back on the photos makes me feel really quite funny i get that you know when it reminds you of something so i'm plowing through but i'm struggling with the photos i'm struggling with the memories from that trip because it makes me feel really quite dark and i'm wondering if when we have this new trip it will lighten this one i will be replacing the dark memories with hopefully much lighter memories now that we're happy and settled um we really really struggled in that trip so yeah i do need to plow through that i've still got a lot of stories to tell so I can hear a digger now. And the other thing is I always make a little planner when we go away. So I still need to do that. Um, and I just keep notes when we're away. More practical things, budgeting, um, itinerary, wish lists, shopping lists, that kind of thing. So um, I still need to do that one as well because I can't buy refills for this little planner anymore. It was from Wilco, and, but they didn't sell um, refills unfortunately but even still um i've been making up my own so um i it's just such a nice little size i've got my little pen in the side and it's just really easy to pop in your hand luggage and take away and then i make a note of our daily budget every single day to keep on top of things shopping lists like i said and all that kind of thing so i still need to work on that 
So they are my main journals. I'm still finishing a friend's journal as well, which I need to do. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. And then the one that I'd forgotten about, I need a trip journal for when we get back from our trip. I'd completely forgotten about that. I haven't decided what size. I don't think I want to, I don't know. Should I do a little golden book? What have I got? All right, let's have a little look. I've got a Snow White, which I was going to keep for our Germany trip. This one I was going to make up for somebody else because I've already got one for a DLP trip. We could do It's a Small World. That's a possibility. That was supposed to be for my brother's stag do, but they split up. Um, and then um, that one's for Poppy. So I could do It's a Small World. The other one I've been thinking about, let me take this out this was sent to me by Romy quite some time ago and it's a very very old one look how precious that is isn't that beautiful I love it so much um, size wise it's there's not much in it with the Thing. I just think that's such a cute one. Do I go? It's a small world. We are going with family and we're meeting up. There's lots of friends going out there at the same time. So that kind of fits with the it's a small world. But I do have a very special trip coming up next year for my 50th. Do I keep the very special? This does feel really special. Shall I keep this one for my special birthday trip? What should I do? Or can you think of another title that would be more suitable? Please let me know. I don't think I'm going to go massive this time, just purely because of space. But I would like to make it ahead of time before I go. Um, yeah, let me know. If you've seen... Sorry, that was a bit noisy, wasn't it? If you've seen any... Um, my little my little golden books little golden books let me know if you think there's a better one the other thing is actually i've got these ones as well which i haven't actually used disney's fantasy land walt disney america or do i turn this into one that's from all the places we've been to america i quite like that idea how about that one i don't know oh look at that isn't that beautiful? That is so nice. I think my soup might be done. It's smelling really nice. Right, please help me out. Romy's book, It's a Small World, or unless there's another title you can think of, or this one. I'm going to let you guys choose. I might even put a poll up, actually. Let's do that. This one, I think, needs to be a general American one. I think that would be really fun. I've got lots of trips that haven't been documented um, from before. I scrapbooked, so I could include those. So, yeah, I would like to know. Anyway, I'm going to go and check on my soup, and then we're going to make a really quick page. All right, so let's have a little look. I am going to be doing a proper weekly page today. Um, so I haven't got anything to slide in there, and I've said all along that this journal will be um just as and what i choose really um i might do this one actually leave that one but do this one i think i've got my photos here we've got the weekend louis just been home wet walk and it's holly's birthday today so i wanted to document that as well right I think I'm going to have a little look and see what I'm going to use. I've seen this already from this month's kit. That's very good for a rainy walk. I might just take a random bag of old supplies and use that. I've got the umbrella. Um, I've punched out, during the last Patreon Zoom, I punched out a load of bits and pieces from old books and cut bits out. Look at that lovely kingfisher. I know the exact page I'm doing that. And then I got my punches and punched some bits out. I've got some paper there. I've also got a Starbucks receipt. This, we went shopping at the weekend and that was on, um, what was it on? 
Oh, my toiletry bag. I've just found a little sticker there as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's have a look and see what is in this bag. I love that. I love the stars. Oh, we've got some cameras. So this is like just a surprise bag of goodies. Um, oh, that might work. Got some leaves. This is quite fun, actually. Oh, look those would work great just not knowing what was in here and just thinking right i'm going to use whatever is in here i've been hoarding that because i love it i might pop that on there let's do that let's get my glue stick and my tape and we are just going to do a bit of sticking and cutting and we're going to have some fun with this one i love this paper so much oh the other thing i need to do let's cut these photos out and we're going to use these as well so louis came home for the weekend um although uni is finished for the year he is um starting a master's over two years and so he's kept his uni job and he needs to obviously work for the summer so he is staying down there with friends um so he came home at the weekend he said he wanted to watch he'd missed watching an england game with aid so he came home to watch the football and although i'm not a football supporter and i don't enjoy football I do like watching the England matches with the boys. I think because it's so important to them, I enjoy it. And I was a football mum for all those years. Every single weekend on the pitch, I was one of the very, very few mums that rain or shine was there. I will admit to sometimes having sat in the car, but both of us did, you know, on the days when it's absolutely torrential and there's no shelter. Not all of our little pictures used to have shelter. Many of them didn't. I oh, quite like that. Um, so, yeah, there was the odd time when Aid and I did actually sit in the car, but always where we could see the pitch. Always. Um, it was always very important to us that we supported Louis 100%. Um, so, yeah, I do... I like, I do like watching football with them, even though I'm not a football supporter. It's quite pretty. I might put that one down there over the branding strip. This is really fun, just not knowing what's in here and just thinking, oh, I'm going to do this. I might pop that there and do this one more of, I think I might pop this over here to create a little flip. And the holly pictures can go underneath. No, they're not going to quite fit. I might need to do something else with those. Oh, should we add some red? Let's add some red. I like that. Add that. Oh, I like seeing the little bit of craft along the side. Then we'll pop funny photos on there. And then I'm going to need to add something on there just to cover up those little bits of photos. Oh, I've now jeopardised my journaling. Oh, we've got this in here, haven't we? The journaling can go in there. I was thinking I wasn't going to use the bag. That actually works really, really well. Let's just stick that to the bag and then journaling can pull out. Oh, I love that. I'm so happy with that. And I've already found, where is it? Um, here. I cut this from a magazine as well. So, although it's not overly sturdy, it should 
be fine. Let's see. Yes. I might do a couple more as it's not the sturdiest as it's from a magazine. Yeah. I might pop something over that one as well. I'm loving the red. Right, so I've popped that little bit there. You know how much I like to have matching colours. I really like this bit as well. Um, I might pop that one there. I'd like to use one of the cameras. I think it's going to need to be a blue one. Let's cut that out. And that may well go there. I love, just love little bits of scraps like that. I'm going to cut some of those out. Oh, and I've got some hearts. I quite like that. Um, what have we got on here? Got that one that's so sweet. I might cut a couple of these out. Oh, and I've, I've got this here. This was left over. It says here and there, loving this. So I might actually pop that on there, like that, whoops, and then the camera down there, like that, and that way it covers up the photos down there so you can't see that I'd like to do something to cover up that one with Louie just to make it um, quite like that one but then we need to have something of that colour in there hmm I think this might be working out quite nicely I think I am going to use this I've been hoarding it for long enough I love this and we're going to pop that on the side there. That then gives me space to be able to journal on the frames inside. Perfect because I didn't actually have any journaling space so that worked really well. Let's pop that over there. Also need to find room for my um, Starbucks receipt. Actually, I could even pop it on there. Might add a little clip. I like to be able to see what we've ordered. So, actually, I'm going to put it on the back. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to staple it at the top and then that way it can pull out. Perfect. That is sorted. We will deal with that in a minute. I'm sending sunshine your way because Holly is in Berlin and it's very, very sunny. We have got... I think I might staple those on there. Oh. And again. I have just found. Ah. Oh, I've just torn it. Oh, that's a rubbish thing. That was a really cute little sticker which I have completely torn, so I definitely won't be using that. I'm going to cut a couple of these out to pretty up the page a little bit. We'll add a little bit of pink. So much fun finding all these little scraps and just adding them to the page. I'm not sticking anything down at this stage. I'm just popping it in place to see what I think. I've just got loads and loads of bits and pieces. I'm glad I did this actually. This is very relaxing. I 
think I might stick these pieces in place for now and see what we're left with. And then starting to do some journaling. Oh, I found that piece as well. I'd forgotten about that. I like these so sweet. Oh, I wanted that one. And let's pop these up there as well. This is a good way to use some scraps of paper to add a little bit of colour to the page. I managed to get quite a lot on here actually. And then I love the idea of including that, that goes really well. My four people on here that I love the most, or my three people I should say. That's quite nice. Actually, I might do that there because of the three of us watching the football together. Oh, that's gone on a bit wonky. And then adding that on there. My stapler is not happy at the moment. It doesn't seem to want to close the backs. Yeah, I think that needs to come down just a little bit more. Yeah, I think I am almost done. I want to do something over there. And I have got stickers left over from my kit. I'll leave the links to this down below let's have the dancing in the rain because it was raining when we walked um we will have a couple of these actually oh i've got these as well i do these as an ad gifted i think my camera card filled up while i was talking right journaling since been done i'm thinking this is for another page. I quite like that, but then I am restricted with what's on that page. So maybe I will find something that's quite neutral to go on the top there. I've got the perfect thing. I am going to take one of these pages. I just didn't want something that was so patterned that might look beautiful with this, but then doesn't really go with this. Whereas that is, actually I might just put that over the whole page. That makes a lot more sense. Um, then that is ready for another journal. I'm really enjoying just the, right, where shall I journal? Kind of taking that attitude. I'm really enjoying that. Something that is important though when you are doing this kind of journaling is to write the date on here. Um, what was the weekend? If today is the 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th, yeah, the week of the 5th of July. So we're keeping it really relaxed. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at it wondering if I should do anything else. I don't think so. Oh, I fancy something with family. I might just write it on here, actually. There. Doesn't have to always be fancy stickers, does it? Let's add a couple of other little dotted lines and then I will give you a little look at this new page that we've done today. So let's do this around here as well. And this was a really nice quick one. So we have got my page there. We've got journaling in there about our shopping trip. And then we've got about Holly's birthday there. And we've got about Louis coming home to watch the football and our rainy walk. So that's it. That is my week. And it's been very, very enjoyable. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And then we've sorted that page out for another time as well. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope you've enjoyed listening to what my plans are this summer. And let me know what you think I should do journal-wise. I'm excited to hear. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you're up to this summer. I would love to hear your journaling plans as well. Sending you lots of love. Bye.